how to get high-end hardwood floor refinishing clients. I just got back from a seminar where I spoke on that exact topic and now we're going to talk about it. And the first thing that I want to just be upfront about is some of you I know are scared of advertising. So I'm going to let you know all of it is good, all of it is bad. It depends on how you do it. So that's what we're going to talk about. If you want to get hardwood floor finishing clients, guess what? You're going to have to do some marketing. You're going to have to go out there, and it's really going to mostly depend on the few different types of media we're going to go over here in just a minute. And it's all about targeting your ideal prospect, which is normally a woman typically between the age of about 30 and probably 65, 70 years old. So really, you have to have her in mind. It's not always that demographic, but more often than not, that is who is hiring hardwood floor refinishing companies. A little bit about me. I did start a cleaning business when I was in college majoring in advertising. I basically wanted to test out marketing and find out what worked and what didn't work. Eventually, I started a carpet cleaning company where I ran that for 22 years. We also did hardwood floor refinishing, rug cleaning, and a bunch of other stuff. But I got down to the trenches, tested marketing, and found out what worked and what didn't work. And eventually, about 14 years ago, I started Hitman Advertising, where I help cleaning and restoration companies with their marketing. So here's what we're going to be covering today. We're going to talk about branding and how to strategize your marketing and your brand. We're going to go over tactics to educate clients, and we're going to go over advertising and show you specific advertising that works for hardwood floor refinishing. So branding, let's talk about that. Really, it's all about you being different. In a nutshell, it's a good way to think about branding. I suggest that all of you write out a script with five ways that you are different from other cleaning companies. And the other answer to this question is, why should I pay you more money than Joe Blow, the hardwood floor refinisher? Why are you better so you need to write up ways that you're better that when a client asks you why you are more money, you have five things to spout off to that client about why you're different. Email them to me or message them to me on Facebook. Brand yourself as high end. I suggest that you have a website, probably specifically for hardwood floor finishing, ideally. I suggest that your company vehicles and uniforms have a logo. I suggest that all of that is actually on all of your advertising, your brand, your image is on all of your advertising. Specifically, let's go ahead and get into websites. I highly recommend pictures of you, your vans, your clients, you with clients. Um, not just clip art pictures. Clip art pictures are bad for SEO, but they also tend to make you feel, make your prospect feel like you're hiding behind something. So don't use a lot of fake pictures, right? They know that that model is not coming out to do their hardwood floor refinishing. They know that it's just a clip art picture. So put real stuff up there. Uh, you want to have videos of your process. This could be huge. Create a YouTube channel. Do that. If you want some tips, look at Courtney Lee's YouTube channel. He does a great job of doing that. Answer frequently asked questions on your website and in videos. And here are the two big things that people are looking for in your website. They want proof that you are local and they want to know for sure that you service their area very upfront and at the top of the page. They also want to be able to trust you. So you have to prove that you can be trusted. Here's a client of mine uh, that's got a website with some things that I've recommended, basically letting them know at the top that this is a Tennessee related company. He's got great reviews. He's got awesome videos. He's got awesome before and after pictures. He shows his Google reviews, just a lot of good stuff. This is actually a rug cleaning website, but kind of you'll get the idea. He talks about his city. He talks about how he can be trusted. He's got a great picture of, of him as a spokesperson with a link to his videos, which, which are great, great videos. Check his stuff out too, Cameron Mayville. Um, as well, he's just got before and after pictures. He's got recommendate or he's got frequently asked questions and he, he just goes ahead and spells all that out. Here's another client site where they actually have the reviews mentioned on the Facebook page or on, on the actual web page. This is a good idea. Clickable phone numbers, your reviews right there on the page, but also a link that leads to your Google page. Who's Google who who's your prospect gonna believe more? Your website or are they going to believe Google. They're going to believe Google more than your actual website. And this is actually another client of mine, Courtney Lees, where he's got great videos, great pictures of him with clients, also great pictures of testimonials or testimonial videos and tons and tons of great videos. But 
frequently asked questions just answered. So vehicles and uniforms, what do you need to do about that? You need to have a good image if you're going to be doing hardwood floor refinishing um, and do this on any level that you can afford, but spend some money toward that. Now keep in mind, you don't have to have a $4,000 wrap for your van, right? Or even more than that. You just have to have something with your logo and your contact, maybe your website on the van. It doesn't have to be super huge. So enough about that, but let's go into talking about client marketing and education. You want to be able to prove that you are an expert. And how do you do that? You do that by educating your client. You want to show how to maintain their stuff. You want to show and give tips on how to maintain hardwood, how to remove wax, how to do uh, stain removal if you can do that, color correction if you can do that. Whatever you can do, even just basic tips that they can do their self for maintenance, explain that. Brochures are a great way to do that. We're actually working on a hardwood floor finishing brochure, but we've got tons of other brochures as well. But brochures to actually put in their hand physically help to educate, help to show them how to do that. Now, for, for reminders and even for some education, text message marketing is huge. Here's the thing, too, a little tidbit about text message marketing. Every time I consult with a client, pretty much, and, and they actually do text message marketing, I get a message back to them with one of, these are just four different times, but lots and lots of times that I get a message back saying, hey, I did a text blast, book five jobs in the first 15 minutes, Hey, John, I've done text message marketing for the first time, and this is just a big game changer. I can see how I can cut back on my other marketing for this. Uh, I did a text message, and I did $7,000 worth of business. I just spent $40, and I booked $2,500 really quick. These are the messages that I get quite a bit when I consult with the client and get them to actually do text message marketing. You can't do it often. Do it three or four times a year, really, at best. But when you do it, and you do it the right way, it's super powerful. Email marketing. Email marketing is great, but it's not the end all because not everyone will get your emails, but do it when you can. If you notice too, in the email, you can actually educate them more because you've got space to be able to put in a picture. You got more text and you can do it more often, right? So you can educate them more. Do it. The people who will get emails from you are, can be educated very, very inexpensively and become great, great Clients, we've actually got email templates now specifically for hardwood inside of our coaching club. If you're interested in that, shoot me a message and let me know. Postcards, this is an example of a postcard that we've recently done with the big message. Here's the big thing that we figured out. People are most interested in convenience. So we're selling them on the fact of convenience, letting them know that they can get it done in one day. We're going to let them know that it's easy and convenient. We're going to be able to let them walk on it in two to four hours. It's safe. It can be done in one day, before and after pictures. Um, putting testimonials on here, letting them know again, repeatedly, they're going to get this done conveniently. Because a lot of times people in high-end homes don't want to get it done because of the fact that it's not very convenient. Here's another variation of a 6 by 11 inch postcard that we've done for client marketing and also for every door direct mail, which we're going to talk about in a minute, with the same type of message. So when it comes to client marketing, I recommend that you don't just do one or two of those things that you like or one or two of those things we just mentioned that are cheap because a lot of the times, I know you guys, a lot of times you veer toward, and I get it, right? Marketing can be expensive, but don't just do email because it's cheap. Do all of those things I recommended you. If you really ask any marketing professional that knows anything about marketing, you never market to someone once and in one way. Right, I promise you, if you're only emailing, you're alienating 80 to 90 percent of your prospects and your in your past clients because a lot of them aren't going to get your emails. A lot of them are going to unsubscribe. Don't still do it because it's so cheap, but it can be frustrating because a lot of them unsubscribe. A lot of them never open your emails or give you a bad email address. Still send them postcards. Still send them text messages. Do all of the stuff we mentioned there. So let's talk about advertising in general. Avoid free advertising on Craigslist, Facebook groups. It just makes you look cheap. Okay, there are times to do it, especially when you're a startup, but in a nutshell, avoid the free advertising. Go where your competitors are not. I used to find out where my competitors advertised simply so I could run the other way as fast as I could. In your marketing, you want to tell about how you are different. So does advertising even work? If you go to the Facebook groups and ask cleaners, does, does Google Ads work? Half will say yes, half will say no. Same thing with Facebook ads, same thing with everything, right? Does it work? Yes, if you use it right. So here are some tidbits on basic recommendations I'm going to give you for SEO and Google My Business. 
you can get tons of clients this way. First, I recommend that you regularly check your Google My Business account. Now it's just called Google Google Business, I think is what they even just call it now. They're always changing the name of it. But I highly recommend that you go in there and regularly check. Sometimes your phone number could change, your address could change, your service categories could change. Maybe you're primarily a hardwood floor or finishing company. Well, Google might have decided to put it back to carpet cleaning. I've seen that happen. Right, So make sure the info is correct. Check it regularly. Also, you want to make posts to your Google page periodically. Make sure the categories are set and the services are set. And also, too, make sure the keywords are set on your website because that's still very relevant if you ever want to get any search engine optimization ranking. Here's a new big thing. Put frequently asked questions on your website. That can be huge for, for Google and for ranking and just for letting your prospect have a good experience on your website because you're answering all their questions, right? So typically this is what happens. You have a Google search, people go to Google, and uh, basically they're Googling hardwood floor finishing in your city or just hardwood floor finishing, and your ads are going to show up here. This is a great way to get business. Your Google local Google business ad or your Google business listing is going to show up here. Um, this is Google guaranteed up here. This is expensive. I still recommend maybe that you do this in some areas. It can be okay, but as soon as you can get away from it, I'd probably recommend that you get away from it just because of the expense being so big. But even if you do this, still do some level probably of Google ads because these clicks can be literally 10 times less than these clicks, right? And the leads for these. Also do some SEO to be able to get ranked down here for sure. You definitely want to do that. Um, I do have, we won't get into really uh, SEO too much, but I do have an entire mini course that's free, five short videos that walks you through how to get Google to trust your website. Here's the QR code. You can pause the video or take a screenshot of it there, be able to get directly there. I'll try to put the actual link to that also below this video. Talking a bit about Google ads, at least a $500 per month budget. If you've got less than that, I really wouldn't mess with it. Do not use smart mode for the most part. Use expert mode. That's a big way to, to really do it the right way to have full control. Otherwise, you're just throwing money to Google and saying have a good time. You want to do it in expert mode so you have control. Manual cost per click is best. Uh, maximize clicks, maybe second best, sometimes conversions, but usually manual cost per click is the best because then you have more control. So biggest thing is to make sure your keywords and your ad are in harmony all together. Make sure that you fill out your assets, make sure that your website sells. That's really the big thing. You've got to make sure your website sells. You have the best ad in the world. You can have the best keywords, target the best people, but if your website doesn't sell when they get there, you're going to be dead in the water, right? You want to make sure it sells. So here's an example of a good, well-performing hardwood floor finishing ad. We've got a headline in this case, wax removal on hard floors, hardwood floors, uh, Atlanta. We've got some assets showing up there at the bottom of the different services that you do because all of those are filled out. We've got picture assets. We've got you know, the whole nine yards. And again, telling them about how it's a dustless process if you do it that way. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that you want to let them know if it if you can do the dustless process in a day, how it's convenient, because that's really the thing that, that you want to sell. Discovery ads are something that are something kind of new that we're testing that's team seem to be working really well. This one's actually for a carpet cleaning company, but you kind of get the idea where you can actually show up sometimes in the Google Maps ads, just sometimes all over the internet. That's something to test out and, and to try as well. Every door direct mail or also neighborhood postcards. It's not always every door direct mail, but neighborhood postcards. They can be done for as little as 19, 20 cents per home, plus anywhere from three to 10, 11 cents per postcard for printing. Uh, repetition's the key. Don't do it once and forget it. You need to do it over and over and over again. In the postcard, give benefits, education, offers, improve trust. The first time you mail a postcard and say, hey, we're the neighborhood hardwood floor refinishing company, they're not going to believe you, but if you keep on the repetition and mail them every month or two, uh, if you also give them Google reviews and let them know why they can trust you, then they're going to trust you more. So here's kind of the ins and outs. It's got to be the right size postcard. You got to have the stamp, and then you got to take it down to your local post office. Again, this is the postcard, one of the postcards we looked at just a little bit ago. This is an eight by 10 inch postcard. So it's a large postcard, right? They cannot miss this postcard in the mail. There's enough room for testimonials. There's enough room for some of the bullet point benefits. There's enough room for great before and after pictures. And it's just a good sales message, letting them know that they can in just one day get a refurbished hardwood floor 
without sanding, dustless. We've got proof of beautiful company vehicles, right? And, you know, just letting them know that we can be trusted, good reviews. They can also see, in this case, a QR code, which is a really good idea, to scan on their phone. Then they can go directly to looking at either reviews or, in this case, a YouTube channel. Um, yeah, all, all of that. So, uh, as well, we've also done winter only offers. I usually reserve special offers for uh, January, February, cold times of the year, where we've done hardwood floor. This is one I did in my own cleaning company, hardwood floor and tile cleaning special offers just for certain times of year. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch EDDM. This is an older postcard that we did, but you know what? This postcard, we did the same type of ad in the, in the newspaper, we got tons and tons of hardwood floor finishing jobs. So before and after pictures, again, the whole thing of refurbish your hard floor without sanding. You know, used to, I would think that the big benefit was that it was cheaper, but even bigger than that is the convenience, right? Get it done within one day and get it done for less money. And, and the other thing too is preserve the wood floor when you can do dustless hardwood floor finishing and do it as more of a maintenance procedure instead of just a ripping up the whole floor, sanding all the floor, all the way down with full refinishing. So talking about referral sources, anyone who can refer you is a great referral source. Rug and flooring retailers, general contractors, remodelers, interior designers, realtors. I recommend that you get a, a route and go around with gift bags, visit them. We would bring them Chips Ahoy, Famous Amos Oreo cookies, gift cards, one of our and you know, hardwood brochures or whatever brochure for the service that you're marketing to, um, that type of thing. Put it in a bag, give it to them. And the gift card is mostly a gift card, by the way, to give their clients, not necessarily for them, although they can use it, mostly a gift card to give their clients so that they can refer you. And the gift card is a pass along. Better than a business card. Who wants a business card when you can get a gift card, right? That's what the, a realtor would rather have. Realtors love them. So do interior designers and uh, even a lot of flooring retailers, rug retailers too. So all of the templates for all of this stuff, by the way, we, we have help for. We can do the actual ads for you. We can help you facilitate doing the email marketing, doing the postcards, even sending them out for you. Everything inside of this video, it's all part of my ad coaching club. I will put the link below this video. If you guys have any questions at all, comment on the video, or shoot me a message. You can also email me at john at hitmanadvertising.com. That's it, guys. Go out, market your hardwood floor finishing. It's going to take a bit of work, but when you do it, you can get the best clients in your area by some of these tactics that we mentioned here in this video. Thanks.